And then with my final kind of this is art piece, I want to display this onto my screen. So there is one very useful operator that we're going to use for that, and it's called the window comp. And its only job in life is to take textures and basically create windows that we're going to use for display purposes. So the first thing we're going to do is select our window comp here. For the window operator parameter at the top, we're going to want to tell it what we want to display in the window. So in this case, I can drag and drop my null one. And you'll see inside of the window, I now have a preview of what it's going to be drawing. First one I think is most important is open as a separate window. This button, if you click it, this will open the window in kind of whatever setting shape it is. This is like if you wanted to open the window while still working, you would click open as a separate window. What I find is in most cases, you don't want things like header bars. You kind of just want to take this and full screen it onto whatever screen or projector you're using. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. First thing I'm going to do, which is something I always do, is I go to borders, turn this toggle off. Now if I hit that open in a separate window button again, I will have the same thing, but without a header bar. Borders is, is a key one that you'll probably want to know even as a new user. The other one is this monitors, because usually what you'll want to do is, you know, create your output and then go to a monitor and be like, this is the one that it's, that it's going on. But in this case, what most new users will want to do is you'll probably just open a separate window and drag this monitor index around until you find the right screen. We can use some of the handy features of the window comp, which allow us to kind of just fill and resize our texture. We can come down to the opening size. And right now you can see it's set to automatic from comp slash top. And what that means is the window is just going to take whatever native resolution our texture is at. And that's the size it's going to use when opening this new window. What I can also do is set it to something like fill. And then when I hit this open in separate window, you'll see what it does now is it's actually fully filled my screen edge to edge over the taskbar. All that good window stuff is out of the way. And now we have our kind of art piece fully full screened on this on this display. And with that, that's kind of really the, the nuts and bolts of a beginner's usages of the window comp. You really just want to kind of figure out what monitor you want to go to with this monitor. You want to figure out whether you want to have the window comp deal with some scaling or leave it automatic. And then, you know, just make sure your textures are at the right size and turning on and off borders. That's really kind of the, the, the most of it.